I remember a friend relating to me last year that on the Shabbos Mincha prior to Parashas Pinchas, the Balkari was reading, and suddenly he stops, says, Absol, there's a problem in the Sefer Torah, the Vav and the word Shalom is split, it's cut off. He calls the rabbi to cut up. He sees, well, you're right, it's a problem. They take another Sefer, put it back, put it another Sefer Torah, same thing. Oh. And then the rabbi remembered that there's a Vav Ketua. The Vav is supposed to be split in the word Shalom. The question is, why? What is the symbolism of that Vav being split? Let's remind ourselves a little bit of the story. There's a terrible public sin that's going on. It begins at the end of last week's parsha. There's a chil Hashem taking place, and everybody's standing around. Vayar Pinchas, Pinchas sees what happening, what's happening, and he takes action, and he kills, he kills Zimri, the prince of Shevet Shimon, and Cosby, a princess of Midian, and the plague ceases. Our parsha, Pinchas receives his reward. And the Medrash asks the obvious question, Vayar Pinchas, and Pinchas saw, of course Pinchas saw, everybody saw. And they didn't see. It says that it was in front of all the Jewish people. That was part of the Chil Hashem. So clearly Pinchas saw something different. He saw something that not everybody else saw. What did Pinchas see? The Gemara Tzarejan on Daf Pei Bay says, He saw what was happening and he remembered the Halacha, the Kanoim Pogimbo, that in such a situation, you are allowed a zealot of somebody who's careful and concerned for the honor of Hashem is allowed to intercede. What happens next, says the Medrash? He got up. Where did he get up from? He saw there were debates and deliberations and discussions. What should we do? Is this appropriate? Is it not appropriate? And while they were sitting around talking and nobody was taking any action, Pinchas got up and he took action. So what was different about Pinchas? Why is it that that Vav is split? Why is it the Vav in Shalom is split? Ksav HaKabal explains that Shalom does not mean peace. Shalom comes from the Shoresh, from the root of Shalem, of something being whole. When you are whole or complete with someone, then you are in a state of being at peace with that person or with that nation or whoever it might be. So much of life is about trying to become Shalem, about becoming complete, reaching Shlemus. Pinchas was given the brach of Shlemus because he worked to make the nation whole again. And therefore, as a reminder, he's given this bris of Shalom. Given this bris of Shalom. But sometimes we're held back. We don't act. Why not? It's not because we don't care. It's not because we don't feel someone else's pain. But it's because we start thinking too much. We start thinking, will it really help? Will what I am doing make a difference? Maybe it's not worth it. Maybe I'm not doing the right thing. Maybe it's only going to help a little bit. There's a bigger problem that needs to be addressed. Pinchas saw that everyone is standing around and putting committees together and discussions and vote. That's not how it works. That's not how a solution happens. Right now, there's a terrible tragedy going on, a travesty, a desecration of God's name, and I need to intervene. That's what Pinchas saw. He didn't just see what was happening. Everyone saw that, but he saw the reactions and the debates, and Hashem rewarded him for those efforts. He understood that there are times when the shlemus, when that vav, you have to work to make it shalom, and it's not obvious how to do it. And the Torah says that vav katua is there because we have to sometimes be a little creative and try to figure out what we can do, and it may not even be totally complete. We have to work to do whatever it is that we can. We have to look around with sensitivity to others and see how we can, even if we're not going to change people's lives forever, we're not going to solve the problem. Whatever we can do to alleviate people's concerns and people's stresses in life is part of what we should do. With the three weeks starting with Shabbat Shabbat Hamas, it's about revisiting our perspective and relationship with others to sensitize ourselves to the plights. We should feel their pain. We should. And that's an important step. But after feeling their pain, it's also trying to figure out what can we do to fill in that gap? What is it that we can do to make it a little bit more shalim? And hopefully, if we can fill in a little bit more of that vav, a little bit more of that shlemus, and be sensitive to the needs of others, then the ava, schinam, the ava, the achdas that we generate will lead that the tish above ahead will be nepach, the yogon, the anachal, the will become a to a time of, to a yontif, 
Im Herod, wie Amen, Amen.